Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a quick look at the Android 11 release for Surface Duo 1. Yes, it's finally here. Over a year after launch, Microsoft has delivered its first major OS update for the Surface Duo. Uh, and you may be unsurprised to hear that it's very similar to the Surface Duo 2's OS. Uh, Android 11 is what shipped on the Surface Duo 2 and Microsoft has essentially just brought that experience over to the Surface Duo 1 bar a few specific features on the Duo 2 itself. So here's the home screen, looks very similar to what it looked like on Android 10. Of course we now have the new UI that was introduced with Android 11 on the Surface Duo 2 with the rounded corners here in the shelf and whatnot. And if we swipe up we get rounded corners at the top here as well, looking pretty swift. We also get the improved UI for the folders and stuff as well, which is nice to see. But outside of that, that's basically everything that's new with the Microsoft launcher. Just a minor UI facelift, uh, just to align it with the rest of Microsoft's design language right now. If we swipe down on the notification shade here, you'll see that it's now much wider, just like on Surface Duo 2, which means notifications have a little more room to breathe and can display more text on a single line, which is nice to see. Um, and if we swipe down and go into settings here, you'll see that there is a new Surface Duo features area uh, where we get access to one of the new features specific to the Surface Duo line, the ability to span apps automatically. Of course, on Android 10, you were able to manually span apps just by dragging the app up and then putting it in the middle like so. But now you can set them to automatically span as well. So if we scroll down here and go to say Outlook, swipe up to go home. Uh, if we tap on the Outlook button, that will now span across both automatically just like so and now i can begin reading emails across both displays like a pro which is pretty sweet okay moving right along one of the other new features available on android 11 for surface duo one is the ability to launch OneNote using the button on top of the surface pen so if we pair this device here uh, give that a second so if we pair this surface slim pen here you'll see that uh, once it is paired We'll see its battery percentage, and I can now tap on the button at the top here to launch OneNote. So that gives you quick access to taking notes, which is a nice feature. Unfortunately, this top button isn't customizable, at least not yet. Uh, I believe in a future update, Microsoft will give us the ability to uh, um, change what app the top button opens. But for now, it's set to OneNote, which I think makes sense because most people are using OneNote to take notes on the Surface Duo anyway. So in addition to the specific Surface Duo features, we also have access to the stock Android 11 features, which all devices running Android 11 have access to. So if we jump back into settings here and go into apps and notifications, we have the ability to enable and disable notification history, as well as conversation bubbles, uh, which are new to Android 11. Those are pretty cool features and that's what they look like there. Uh, and also we have access to priority conversations as well. So you can set up certain apps to be priority, whereas those notifications will appear, will appear at the very top uh, and always be available to you, which is pretty cool. With the Android 11 release, Microsoft has also started including a couple more Microsoft apps, as well as updated the OneDrive app to include the new Photos feature. So Game Pass is now here, which is good to see. Uh, Microsoft Start, of course, and uh, the Photos app, which is just like on the Surface Duo 2, this is a sort of local version of the OneDrive app for photos taken specifically on this device. Uh, so if I snap a photo with the camera app here, give that a second to load. Press on next, 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 thank you. If I snap this photo, that should show up in the OneDrive library here, and now I can view it and edit it and do all of that good stuff. So let's span this across both here. And of course we get access to all of the Surface Duo 2's unique editing features here on Surface Duo 1. Unfortunately, the camera app has not been updated. This is the same old camera app that was on Android 10, which means if I do take a photo and click on it through here, that does not open the OneDrive version of Photos. It opens Google Photos still, which uh, is a shame. Unfortunately, that is not configurable. I don't believe, um, hopefully Microsoft will add a feature in the future, which allows you to change that to OneDrive Photos. But by default, that does not appear to be the case. So I know what you're all wondering, what does the Android 11 release do to address bugs and issues with the first Surface Duo? Um, well, in my brief testing with it, it does improve things like multitasking and, and swiping and whatnot, but not completely. I've noticed that even uh, with the Android 11 release, if I open an app here, swiping up to go home usually still takes a couple of times that it works there just fine. You see there, sometimes the animation breaks a little bit. Um, but the swiping up does appear to be working a little bit better now, though there it didn't work. 
see there it didn't work so sometimes you will still hit it but for the most part it, it does appear to be improved regarding typing typing does feel improved if we swipe down here and begin typing You know, that, that feels perfectly fine to me. I know some people may be a little bit more sensitive to this, but in my testing, this feels perfectly fine now. It doesn't seem to be lagging. Um, it's just the gestures when swiping up to go home. They still seem to be a little bit iffy sometimes, but they are certainly improved. This is this is night and day compared to the Android 10 release, but you will find that sometimes the, the swipe up gesture doesn't always work though, as you can see. Well, there, so it didn't work there, but it works perfectly fine way more often now, which is good to see. So you may have noticed there as I was tapping in and out of the settings app that the screen keeps flashing black briefly. Uh, and that's because there's a bug with Android 11 and indeed Android 10. This has been a bug on the Surface Duo for as long as I can remember. Um, but the Microsoft Launcher likes to unload and reload itself as you tap in and out of apps. And when you're using light mode, the wallpaper doesn't remain in the background either. If we enable dark mode here, it kind of hides it better, uh, but the launcher still likes to unload and reload itself. So if we swipe up to go home here, you'll see, especially if you look down here, if we swipe up, the launcher will sort of pop in as the animation is playing like that. This is usually pretty hard to spot unless someone's really pointing it out to you, but it's really noticeable in light mode because the wallpaper itself also disappears. So if I swipe up again here, you'll see the screen is black as the Microsoft launcher loads in. I don't know why Microsoft hasn't fixed this bug yet. This has been a bug for as long as the Surface Duo has been on the market. And unfortunately it is not fixed with the Android 11 release. At least not yet. Hopefully maybe they'll fix it in a future version of Android 11. But uh, as of right now, this bug is still present. The launcher likes to unload itself as you tap into an app in single screen mode. And then when you uh, swipe up to go home, it reloads itself. And again, this only really happens in single screen mode or if you're running uh, one app across both screens. So if we open up the settings up again here and swipe up to go home, that flashing will not occur. But if we open up the set settings app and then span it across both screens and then swipe up to go home, because the launcher isn't on display anymore, it's unloaded itself. So if we swipe up, the screen will flash again because it needs to reload the, set the launcher. Really annoying if, for those of you who are sort of um, a fan of fit and finish in regards to OS design, but in the case of the Surface Duo 1 and, and the Duo 2, this is a problem on the Surface Duo 2 as well. Uh, if we open up the Surface Duo 2 and quickly show you that, jump into settings and enable light mode. If we are in single screen mode here and swipe up to go home, you'll see that the gesture doesn't work because of course it doesn't. Uh, there we go. The screen flashed as well. So, um, so yeah, it's a problem on both Surface Duos. So I figured I'd sort of show it off on the Duo One because it is still unfortunately a problem and Microsoft has not fixed it yet. So yeah, that's basically a quick look at the Android 11 release for the first Surface Duo. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.